Folks, we are out here with Puma. Folks, good to see you. Fourth July special. Woo. That's right. And we got Abe with us. And of course, I'm out here. So, Puma has called the game. Okay? Isn't that right, Puma? That's right, boys and girls. Why don't you explain what you wanted to do? Two. Two balls in one. You get two shots wherever you're at. Every time. Also, every time. Every single time. Every one of the shots. Every two of the shots. You also get... Red, white, and blue, because the 4th of July, you can pick, if you play nine holes, it's three reds, three blues, and three whites. That's right. So, we are going to give you a three-hole special. Where we are going to play one of our holes blue, one of our holes white, and one of our holes red. If you don't have those colored tees, all it is is one hole at the tips, one hole right in the medium area, one of the middle tee boxes, and one hole at the forward tee boxes. For us... Our tees are red, white, and blue. So we're doing a little July 4th special. Here for the Patriots, here for America. I'm gonna send one from the blues on this first tee. Big fella went straight again. There was no fade on that one. That's straight ball, but that'll be in a much better position. Look good. Where I need to be. A lot be. of guys will pay money for that shot. Let's go get it. <laughs> All right, so also you should know that with Abe out here, normally his tee boxes are 150. So for him, 150 will be from the whites. So his white will be 150, his blue will be 175, and his red will be 125. Abe, where are you going to play on this hole? Uh, I got uh, 175. So you're going to play the blues as well with us? Yes. I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's go get it. Oh, good ball. It's going to be up on the right-hand side, right in the middle of the fairway. That was a dead straight ball. See if you can't put a little bend to it. Try and hit Grandpa. He's right out there. Hit Puma. Hit him. Hit him. No! <laughs> That's all right. You got your first one right where you need to be in the middle of the fairway. It's like uh, almost like you're trying to hit balls at the cart guy at the range. Yeah, this was exactly what I was thinking. He's <laughs> <laughs> a weapon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. One time I hit the front of his mower. Yeah. And then All right. it just goes like this. Well, Puma, why don't you explain how you got over here? Well, my first shot was over here. My second shot went straight. Yeah, we missed the first one on camera. Oh, yeah. Because you move so speedy. You're just so fast. I'm like a cat. I'm like, I'm like a Puma. Yeah, you're just so fast. I have quickness. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm inbred. Sure. Oh, that's going to be much prettier. Cover both trees. He's up on the green. You actually probably can see his ball right through the gap. Good shot, Puma. Reminds me of when I played for the University of Canada. Don't lie. I wouldn't be surprised if you used a snow shovel on this one. Just scoop it up there. You, you can barely see the flag from here. It's right underneath that tree if you look closely. So he's probably going to use a three wood to knock it up. Here he comes. At 68 yards. Big hitter, what are you thinking? I'm gonna go up and over and drop it right in the hole. He's gonna go up and over. I don't see how this doesn't dunk it. He's going donut. He's gotta dunk it. He, he's got a cup of milk, a cup of leche. Folks, again, he gets two and that one is gonna be real nice. That one, I don't know if he can get better than that. <laughs> that was beautiful. That almost went in. So Puma put his on the green, put a little pressure, so I had to throw one up there a little closer. Let's see what Abe can do now. Let's see what you can do. The pressure's on you, young lad. Pressure? I don't feel no pressure. I'm totally not nervous. Your eyes. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a good drive. What a ball. We all got our blues out of the way, and we're up there on the green. Huh? I don't. You just hit from 175. No, for the video, silly. Oh. All right, so he's got his blue done here. See what he can do. 
Ah, I just clipped the ground, but it might roll up for him. All right, he's on the green. It actually panned out pretty well. Let's see if he can get one a little tighter. Oh, bladed that one. <laughs> bladed that one. <laughs> yeah, that was a miss hit, but hey, you got one on the green. And some would say that's the beauty of two ball, right? A little practice. So, as we get in our cart, a lot of people would ask, well, why do you play all these different games, right? The point of playing the different games is to practice. So Grandpa, or Puma, he plays these different games, two ball particularly, because he didn't get to play as much. So he's just looking for more practice. Let's go to the green and see what we got going. And also the challenges are from our subscribers and commenters. That is true. If you do want to see us try a challenge, comment it down below. We'll, we'll try it for sure. If you're ever in the area and you have a challenge, come on out. Let's play. Now putting for his birdie. Go in. Ah, that's good for four. Turn, turn, turn. Good par. All right, so this is for Abe's birdie. We're birdlacious. Let's see if someone can knock something in. Uh huh. It didn't turn, did it? That one's got a chance. That's got a chance. Good shot. Nice par. Nice par. 90 degree angle. 90 degree time. Nice shot. Put the wee, put the wee thing in so I don't look stupid. Nice shot. There we go. There's a bird, baby. So now we're going up to a par five. Right, Puma? We are. Par five, which is traditionally one of the hardest holes. No, and usually the easiest. But now it's even easier because I believe we're going red. We're going reds, which gives us, I mean, we could blindfold ourselves and get a par on this one. Why don't we do it? It's almost dark enough. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I have a joke. Give him, give him a joke. When it's cold in your house, you gotta go to a corner because it's 90 degrees. Oh! We are now playing a par five. We're all using our red, which means Puma and I are hitting from the red tees. Abe is hitting from 125. See if we can't throw in a couple birdies. Let's see what happens. For ya. Trouble is to the left. There's a good ball, a nice little slinging draw. Took a bounce to the top of the hill, and this is the beauty about being the Reds. It's going to roll right on down. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Our big hitter's up. Same thing as I had to look at. He's, uh, he's a little more pure than I am. His shot should probably go over the hill in the air where mine rolled up. Anything just short of the creek I'll take. He's, uh, he's got everything he needs. I just got stung in the neck. You did? Yep. Hey, I hit that one well, though. You torched that one. Uh, I'm going to guess that's down by the water. As I swung, I just had to land on my neck. Was it a bee? I don't know what it was. Oh, boy. Hey, I'll take that all day, though. Yeah. Stinger. Nice little stinger for a stinger. We have Abe now at his red or forward tees. So now he's hitting from what is 125. Let's see if he can't get something close up to the green. Ah, oh, got a little tail, but it started off right at the flag. Where'd the go? Right behind you. So that's gonna be a little off the green. Good shot, Abe. Good shot. Puma, you just got stung? Yeah. So if I'm doing the math correctly, you just got stung. Ooh, that's a bad I got stung. And you got stung. Yeah. Yikes. What are we doing out here, huh? All right, Puma. Yeah. He looks like you got about 90 yards. Not bad, maybe 95. That's a good shot. 
That's a good shot. Once again, cart, ball, puma. Cart, ball, puma. Let's see what he can't do here. Be so good. That's a great shot. To be about 20 feet right below the hole for a putted eagle. You're so sexy. You are so sexy. Maybe we can get a better. This is for Steve Baker. Ah, you know it's missing the green now. Sorry, Baker. Yep, told you. No. Off to the right. <laughs> Guaranteed. Hey, that first shot's good, Puma. You got a good look at Eagle. Thank you. That's got to go, too. It's hard to be displeased when I'm reaching the green in two. But that was not a good 90 yard shot. I got two on the green and I'm still outside of Puma. No bueno. All right, so we're walking up to the green. Abe's drive is just on the back fringe there. You can kind of see both balls. Puma's right there and both of mine are no bueno. So, see if Abe can't get something close for a tap in three. I'll stay up. Get in, get in. Oh my goodness. I really can't believe that. Hey, that's that's a heck of a three. Heck of a three. Good shot, Abe. It's a great three. Good shot. Thank you. Somewhere else. Come around, come around. Nice shot. Get in. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Good shot. Good. Oh, that was right on line for birdies. Yeah, that's a bird. Can't be upset about birds. Except when they bite you. <laughs> now then you can be upset. Oh, that ain't gonna oh. get me from up here. I'll tell you that right I'll now. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now, right now. Right now. See if you can't learn. No, Kimmy. Where you want to put? From above it or below it? Below. <clears throat> He's choosing to go from below. Now do you want it out? I want it in. He wants it in still. This is pretty much a must make right now. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty, pretty much a must make. Good putt. Hey, we're walking off this hole with must make all birdies. If we're going to play from the reds, yeah, we got to hit them. Gotta we got to. Them. So now we have the whites. Yeah. This is a par three. Yeah. See what we can't do. See what we can't make it talk, right, Abe? Make it talk. Make it talk, baby. Make it talk. All right. So we are now all hitting white. And since we're on a par three, Abe, this is pretty much where you're going to hit from. So we'll all be hitting from the whites. Abe, looks like you have your driver out. There's a straight ball. It's gotta go. Get up. Ah, just a bit short. I say it all the time. Ah, oh, Kimbo! Ah! Exactly. So we have a YouTube channel. We film all different kinds of games. Good shot, that's in the hole, that's in the hole. That's all over. Short! I hate it when that happens. It looks so good. Bam, it just slaps it down. Yeah. What the heck, man, that was in the hole. Felt good. Yeah. All right, so as we walk up, you can see Abe had just made it past the bunker on a second one. Both of mine were very close. My second one was literally right on the pin and somehow I just snapped down. Probably should have clubbed up. And we got Puma hiding behind the trees. Puma, why, what are you doing all the way over there, Puma? <laughs> what are you doing? All right, so here's Puma. He is quite off the green. This is a dangerous green too, so it's not a fun place for him to be right there. He chipped it right at me. That is gonna be well short. 
He needs, this is another clutch shot. He needs to hit this well, because he does not want to chip back there. I don't even care if you get two balls. It'll be nearly impossible to stop it. So, see what he can do here. Oh my, that ball is running off the green. Looks like it might make that bunker. Puma, you got some choices. You're gonna have to let people know what you wanna do. All right, we'll get Abe. Abe is just, just past, just on the fringe. See if he can't clip something nice. Oh, he's putting. Putting. Tricked us to 15 feet and then he decides to hit his second one real quick. Left that one well short. Ah, tricked ya. Ah, tricked ya. Ah, tricked ya. This used to be one of my favorite holes. Puma? Well, I've done worse. Oh yeah, he has done a lot worse. That's good, that's good. Alright, well, gonna have a look at par. We'll see what happens from there. Hey! Folks, this is who you're chasing for most views of M3 Wood videos. Right here. I've seen everyone. Right here. I've seen everyone. I've never missed an episode. I can tell you about the Why would right you? left last time. You were yeah. uh, 150 yards out. Yeah. Watch the whole thing. Thank I, you. My golf game is better because of M3 Wood exactly. and Tim Atkins. No, preach it. Yeah. There's some moments in my life where I look back and say, why didn't you do better? Yeah. But then there are moments where I look back and go, it can't get better. Yeah. When this guy's around. <laughs> For sure. Hey, what did you get? 47. Not so bad. Why do you need a second one? I just cannot putt. Oh my. Oh my God. I Look cannot putt. Look at that, Steve. All right, folks. As you can see, I buckled under the pressure there a bit. Uh, I had live fans there, and I just I couldn't perform for them. So it is what it is, but that is going to be the end of our three hole vlog. Uh, we will check back at the end and let you know how everything wrapped up and how everything finished. Um, unfortunately, I did take a bogey there. Puma took a bogey. Ape took a four. So, check you back and we'll let you know how things finish up. Alright guys, we are walking off hole nine. I got the little man with me because actually the little man, what did you end up shooting? 33? 33 on the back. Sir, I lost you. Where'd you go? 33 on the back. You ended up shooting 33 on the back. That's a powerful number. No, 32. 32. Oh, that's right, because you beat me by one. Yeah. So we ended up shooting a 32. I ended up shooting a 33. We'll just say that Puma got a little tired. Am I right, Puma? Very tired. Tired it, out a little bit? It reminds me when I climbed Mount Everest back-to-back -back days. <laughs> And uh, I did the uh, marathon. Oh, sure. The actual one to Metropolis.